All right, so that's obviously a great performance, uh, a hard-fought win, but you were dominating pretty much every round. You hit him with so many hard shots that I think most people would have gotten knocked out for it, but not this guy. He kept on coming. What goes through your mind when you're fighting a fight like that, where he just keeps going forward like a zombie? He's uh, he's now for a reason uh, undefeated. He's three and zero in the UFC. He's number fifteen heavyweight, so he he's where he is, you know. And he took some big shots. Respect to him. Uh, he was screaming like a baby down. So I. I want to go. I want to make sure I, I win this fight in a very dominant position uh, uh, decision, like I did it in last my first UFC fight. I dominate the whole three rounds, so the the goal is to dominate every fight. You know, if the if if the if the possibility is here to finish him, I'm gonna finish him. If not, completely domination. And he was warned, it seems, for for talking to you when he was on the bottom. Yeah. Can you just talk about what he said and what what? How yeah, he you? was. He told me in the third round, like, let's get up, bitch, let's get up, bitch, you know. But I don't give a shit about this, you know. It, this is a sport, and I want to make sure I get a W. And man, I kick his ass, <laughs> so he cannot he cannot say nothing against me. I yeah. nothing, nothing. I mean, like he said, it was a. You know, very dominant performance, but you know, is there anything that you can look back at and think that you can learn from, or that you wish maybe you could have done a bit differently? Yes, of course. Like I said last, uh, after my first UFC fight, I was saying like I want to go in the next fight uh, better prepared, like the last time, and I want to grow. I'm 26 years old. I have a lot of potential to grow. I grow every fight. You're gonna, you're gonna, you can expect for the next fight. To be uh, to see uh, even better Alexander Rakic than tonight, so yeah, I'm growing every day, step by step, and it pays off. You know, we we saw all, and I feel it. I dominate him, man. 30-24 or 30-25, man, this was completely domination. He caught me in the whole three rounds, maybe with three jabs, and that's it. But yeah. What did you mean when you say he was screaming like a baby? Yeah, he was screaming like a baby. He was like, he felt uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm sorry. So he was, I he was not in in his comfort zone. You know, I put him, I I drag him in deep water, and hold him there. So this is this was a normal reaction. You know, everybody will will scream because. If somebody is in not the position you don't like, you scream. This is not. Uh, this is something you know the nature give you like this. You know. So, yeah. Uh, do you think you both deserve fight, fight, fight of the night? You from uh, the fighting team for for the toughness? Yeah. Uh, fight of the night, I think not. But performance of the night. He he didn't show nothing. He just sh show toughness. But that's not. Th this is not a reason to get a bonus. You know. You have to show something, and I hope I, I, I get it, you know? This is the choice of the UFC. Uh, I gave all of, all of, all of, I gave everything. So it's the choice of the UFC. I hope I get it. If not, I'm good, and we're gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> be, uh, I'm gonna dominate in the next, next fight even more so. Some, uh, maybe I get it in the next fight. Let's see. I hope I get it now, but let's see. You said that you'd like to fight you know, in uh, some, some fights in the top 15. Yeah. Uh, have you got anyone in mind that you'd like to, to take on next? Uh, special name? No. Uh, I was training really hard for this fight. I, I, I started my, uh, my camp in Vienna, in Austria, where I live. Uh, I started there with my coaches. I want to say, by the way, I want to say thank you to my coaches, uh, strength and conditioning coach Richard Staudner, grappling MMA coach Roberto Pasuch, and my boxing coach uh, Yuri. Uh, I start my camp in, in Vienna, Austria, then I switch to Fort Lauderdale in Florida. Uh, I was preparing there in the American top team, the best team, uh, the best, uh, team uh, on the world. So I was five weeks there and came two weeks before the fight to Vienna again to acclimatize and to finish my camp with my coaches, coach, coaches and to do the strategy. And yeah, but I mean, 
I belong in the top 15, you know, I, I think I deserve it. I show, uh, I put now uh, this, the second fight, I complete, uh, in the first fight I dominate Francima Barroso, a veteran, you know, uh, in the second fight I dominate uh, undefeated guy, uh, number 15 ranked heavyweight, so who else than me? Who? Who else? Is there anybody, I mean, uh, fighting in American top team who you look up to? Yeah, like uh, Junior is my friend and he's like my idol, you know, when I was uh, younger and was uh, like, uh, like starting with MMA, he was a champion. So I was uh, really excited to train with him. And of course, there is a lot of champions, Amanda Nunes, ex-champ uh, Joanna, uh, a, lot of, a lot of UFC fighters, uh, very good guys, but especially Junior Dos Santos. I like this guy, he's very funny and I make a really good relationship with him. And yeah. Have you seen his fight with Bago Ivanov? Uh, I didn't yet, I just saw the highlights. But man, this guy is a beast, so what else is it? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you coach said you, uh, he wanted you to fight like Kenny Alaska. Yes. Right? Is that something in your preparation? You also try to train like that? Uh, the pace and everything? Yep. So, so when we uh, when we get the name of my opponent and my coach saw my saw my opponent and watched his fights, the first thing he told me, you have to fight like Cain Velasquez. I say, what do you mean, Cain Velasquez? He said, you remember the fight Cain Velasquez and against Bigfoot Silva, the bloody fight? I say yes. He said exactly like this. You have to maul him. You have to grind. You have to punch him. You have to take his soul. So. Uh, yeah, the, 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 in the fight camp and in the, in the preparation we put a little bit, uh, not completely out the submission game, the Jiu Jitsu, but uh, the, 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 the goal was to, 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 to grind, to punch, like Ken Velasquez, you know, he, this guy is a monster and yeah, this was my plan and I'm happy about it. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.